One more day left in the year and then we welcome 2018 and it's going to end on kind of a chilly note. Temperatures will be dropping as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Today though was kind of a nice day. We did have the cloud cover. Some sunshine helped to warm us up generally into the mid 60s today. And so we're not going to see too much of these 60s going into the new year as some very cold air will be headed our way. Right now we do have some shadows shower activity that's continuing to push toward the east. That's going to kind of be the pattern through the overnight and at least the first half of your Sunday. Just some light showers moving across Lake Pontchartrain from the New Orleans metro area all the way up toward Washington Parish. So Bogalusa, you could see a few isolated showers here shortly. And as this area of low pressure continues to move northeast, we'll have those rain chances remaining a little higher. I got about a 40% chance for scattered showers throughout your Sunday. There's the cold front and that's going to push toward the south. And and really usher in some of the coldest air of the season with lows into the teens on Tuesday for parts of the North Shore. Meanwhile, our rain chances at about a 40% chance tonight and for New Year's Eve. But notice New Year's Day and going into the week, lots of sunshine returning. Just some freezing temperatures will be with us as well. You can see across the US, the coldest air still toward the north. That's going to funnel down toward our area, and that's what's going to really allow our temperatures to drop. So while we had the six this afternoon down into the 50s right now. It's 50 in Hammond, 54 for Slidell and in the Gulfport area. Still holding on to some 60s. It's 61 right now in Grand Isle and 60 in Boothville. But as we progress throughout the day tomorrow, those temperatures will be dropping. Overnight scattered shower activity still remains high. Could be a little heavier down toward the coast. But as we go into the afternoon, a lot of this rainfall starts to exit the area. Lunchtime, just a few showers remaining, and that will still be the case going into the afternoon. I know people heading out for the New Year's Eve parade or some other outdoor events to celebrate the new year, and you may need the rain gear early, but then as we get toward midnight and into Monday morning, skies clear, and then look at temperatures. They are dropping mid to upper 20s for the first morning of the new year, and I did have questions about some wintry weather possible. If you're traveling to the north, say around the Jackson area near Monroe, there is some freezing rain or sleet that may make, mix in with the rain going uh, throughout the morning and afternoon. But I do expect the precipitation to have been gone from our area before we really get those colder temperatures moving in. But the northern portions of, say, Pearl River County in Mississippi may see a little bit of sleet mixed in with the rain. But then we see all of this precipitation exit the area going into Monday. And then that's where we see these colder temperatures diving down from the north. And they're going to linger. Morning lows on Tuesday and Wednesday, especially on the North Shore, in coastal Mississippi, teens to low to mid 20s, and those freezing temperatures go into Thursday as well. It's also going to be breezy, so walking out the door Monday morning, it'll be feeling like the teens across most of the area, and then on Tuesday morning could be even feeling like the single digits. So definitely going to have the four P's in effect. You have to protect the pipes, pets, plants, and people make sure everyone has a warm place to be because these very cold temperatures are going to last going into the new year. Highs only into the 40s and then you can see those below freezing temperatures through at least Friday and Saturday.